Hey everybody, Chibi here with Entropic Gaming, and welcome back to Hotful Boyfriend. Now, last time things got a little weird, and so we're kind of looking at a uh, kind of a murder mystery thing with Ryota being, you know, the head detective with Sakuya helping him. Or reverse that, because Sakuya seems to be the one in charge, but whatever. So let's uh, get into this and uh, see what the frick's going on. What is this? A wall. A huge gray... What had been a clear autumn sky is now blo blocked off by dull gray. It's dark, almost like the sun has already gone down. A dome, rather. We appear to be shut in from above as well. What? When did they do this and how? I don't think any of us was in full command of his faculties. As we came this way, we can't be certain that it wasn't already there. It does seem most likely that it was put in place while we were all in the gymnasium listening to the headmaster, though. <coughs> he did say there was a natural disaster. Maybe this is some sort of shield? A disaster so destructive that there's nothing to be done but hide under an enormous gray blanket and wait? Maybe they didn't give the headmaster the details to avoid causing a panic? If that were the case, they would be robbing us of our right to know why our very lives are in danger. Is this really a shelter? Is there really a natural disaster? Either way, we don't know if there's a connection between what happened to Shirel and all this. Let's go to the classroom and then tell Mr. Danaki about the dome thing. Very well. This is eerie. Looks like the other classes left theirs as they were as well. They're at the teacher's desks. Is everybody else planning to stay in the gym? <clears throat> Japan is a country full of fools have, who have grown lazy through too much peace. I doubt anyone else has dared take it upon themselves to investigate this matter. We're here. The box is still where I left it. Inside is... I I can't. Sakuya, I'm sorry. Could you? <laughs> no matter. Da, 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 da. What is this madness? Huh? There's nothing here. Huh? Th that can't be right. We left it right here. It's not like it got up and moved on its own, is it? Someone came and removed it while everyone was at the gym? This is life, not some third-rate mystery novel. Exactly, Sakuya. Yuya! I should have recognized the theme! Yuya! Salutations, Ryota, and I see you're babing Sakuya. Do not throw my name about like some cheap toy, mongrel. How cruel. Well, I can't blame you for being tense, given the circumstances. I think you'd act like that regardless of the circumstances, Yuya. I am sorry about her. It pains me to think what happened. His expression clouds. It's strange. I've never seen him with any expression other than carefree cheerfulness before. You'd known her for a long time, right? Yes. Do you know something about all this, Yuya? Well, most of this business is still a mystery to me, but I can at least answer the question we face right now. The whereabouts of the corpse, you mean? Yeah, that. As you said, this isn't some third-rate mystery novel. Corpses don't disappear, and we won't be having a famous detective show up and find the culprit for us. Anyway, the other infirmary assistants and I gathered her up in the chemistry lab. The chemistry lab? What for? For one, well, we couldn't just leave her scattered throughout the school, if only for the mental health of the students. Secondly, for the autopsy. As you know, we have two things going on at once here. The only human in the school was cut up and distributed to the rest of the school, and now there's some natural disaster happening. I imagine you're wondering if there isn't a connection between the two. We are, but we haven't found anything. What do you know? I told you, this is all a mystery to me too. 
I suspect that we would have an easier time investigating the murder as long as we're sealed in like this, though. The doctor should be proceeding with the autopsy by now. The doctor? Why him? You don't trust him? Oh, of course not. I don't want to think about what he might do to her. He might even have... Hmm. You suspect the doctor? Yes, everybody knows he's a nutcase. He probably killed her for some crazy experiment. He is an expert in the field. Who else here could perform the autopsy? But... I know where you're coming from, Ryota. He's not exactly the most ethically minded bird around. That's why I asked Professor Nanaki to come too. He should be there by now if you want to make sure. Alright, uh, we'll go later. So Sherilyn has been gathered in the chemistry lab, and the doctor and Mr. Nanaki are examining her now. Mr. Nanaki might not be the best witness, but he's better than no one, right? We know where the corpse went then, but why are you here? Me? I'm investigating. Under my own orders, of course. Playing detective, mongrel? That and I have to make sure we didn't miss any pieces. Anyway, what are you two going to do now? Personally, I think the murder and the evacuation are almost certainly connected. I am inclined to agree. The headmaster's refusal to explain our situation makes me doubt his story in its entirety. Indeed. So, Ryota. Y yeah? I know how you feel. You want to find the one who did this to Shirelin as soon as possible, right? Yes. Shirelin. Gone for a moment and suddenly she was turned into this. Who did that to her? I'll find them and I'll... I'm going to find the culprit and, and I'll... I'll... I've never felt this emotion before, but now I feel nothing else. When I find that bird, I'll... Oh, bird. <sighs> My thoughts, exactly. Unfortunately, the school is a mess and we won't find anything by chasing after her shadow. I think we should try to solve both mysteries at once, whenever possible. Of course, the wall could just be there because of some natural disaster. That's about all I have to say. Hmph. <laughs> we didn't need your advice from the start. You're nothing but talk anyway, mongrel. Thanks, Yuya. We'll do our best to help. Oh, one more thing. You might want to talk to one in the maintenance office. Tell him I sent you. You mean that antisocial cockatiel dandy everybody hates? Yep, him. Don't worry, he's a good guy. He'll be able to help you, and you might something find something useful in there. <laughs> well, that's it for the talky mom, girl. Adieu! He saunters off towards the staircase. What a dreadfully obnoxious man. I thought he'd never shut up. He gave us some rather good advice, right? We should be grateful. Anyway, I don't think we'll find anything else here. Indeed. Hmm. Where should we head next? I doubt we would go amiss by visiting the lab, the maintenance office, or invest by investigating the wall outside. Right. Let's go to the office first. Maybe this one guy will be able to help us. Good idea. The maintenance office. In other words, the repairman's shop? I doubt we will find anything useful there. You just said to go, right? I doubt the integrity of his advice. Jeez, is that anything to say about your own brother? You should be nicer to your family. My family? Do you mock me? That filthy blooded mongrel is no relation to me. Whoa, calm down. I guess his elitism is still running business as usual. We don't have time to waste. We should hurry. The maintenance room is in the corner of the main building, on the ground floor, right? Knock, knock. Excuse us. What is this? This doesn't look very educational. The handyman pretty much lives in here, I think. A dove, and one more. Mr. One, hello. 
What are you doing here? Didn't you hear the alarm? I'm Ryota in the Sasakuya. We got permission from our teacher to investigate the building. Didn't you hear the alarm? No panic, no noise, and no leaving. That's what I do here. Whoa, someone, uh, somehow he seems really cool. You mean you're too lazy to go to the gymnasium? Don't worry about me. You two go ahead and find your class there. No, we're not. Do you mean to interfere with us? Wretched fool. Um, Yuya said we should ask you for help. Sakazaki, Yuya? Uh, yes, to him. We decided to honor his request by coming all the way over here. Do you intend to stop us now? Sakiya, where the heck are your manners? Uh, sorry, he transferred from overseas, and his Japanese isn't too great. He certainly has more bark than I imagine he has bite. Very well, come in. What did you say you, you gentlemen were investigating? Two things. The murder of Tenbrook Sherlin and the mysterious wall outside. You've been in here the whole time, right? Do you know what he's talking about? Yes, I got an idea of it from Mr. Sakazaki. In other words, you know only what you have heard from that mongrel. Useless. I know plenty about the school itself, though. My job is to take care of the entire campus. Maybe you know what the big gray wall outside is, then? Nope. Useless wretch! Sakuya, calm down! Though, I'm not sure there's anything we can learn here right now. Oh, wait. Mr. One, could we use your computer? Maybe we can find out what's going on outside. Sadly not. Everything's been cut off since this morning. Even the telephone wires, eh? This is too thorough. I can't think of any reason why they'd need to cut communication systems off if it were some sort of storm protection. This has been a wild goose chase, then. A complete waste of time. Let us go, Kawara. Wait, I have a bright and massive piece of advice for you. Bright and massive? What? If you get stuck, try the headmaster's office. I've been almost everywhere in the school, but never there. You might be able to find something out about the wall if you check in there. Of course, the headmaster did not speak to us in person in the gym. If he was broadcasting from his office, then he might still be there. Asking him certainly seems like the best way to get some solid information. We should try that. If you need a break later on, feel free to come back here and rest. Anyone Mr. Sakazaki sent is trustworthy. I'll get you some notes. If you find anything, you can come write them down. You never know what could happen in a situation like this, and you don't want to forget anything. Thank you, Mr. One. We can come back here later. For now, we should check the lab, or the wall. After those two, we can try the headmaster's office. Go to... I'm not sure if this is gonna have anything, so let's deal with the lab. The sooner we get there, the sooner we can finish with Iwamine. Excuse us. It's always been one of the gloomier parts of the school, but today the lab is downright depressing. Hello, Kawara. Sir, thank you for being with Shireland now. Of course. Sakazaki came and asked me to come right after you two left the gym. He must have gone past us. How unfortunate. The doctor is lining the pieces of Shireland up on one of the t lab benches. Hmm. Must you glower at me so, Mr. Kawara? I'm not glowering at you. Do you disapprove of my handling her? He gives me an evil smile. No, that's not it. I just wish we had a doctor who wasn't this malicious. Are you finding anything, Dr. Iwamene? Not yet, no. I only just finished assembling her. It will take some time. I will send word to you when I've finished. Perhaps you have something else to do while you wait? Very well. We shall not interfere. Come, Kawara. Right. Oh, Mr. Kawara. A moment, please. Yes? Hmm. A 
Allow me to give you a hint. A hint? You suspect me of foul play, do you not? In light of that, I shall leave it up to you whether you decide to believe me or not. Anyway, I think you have missed something very important. Hmm? One might say that you have forgotten something. Perhaps you should bear that in mind, hmm? You're just a little bit off. But I'm sure you'll find the answer yourself if you keep looking. Oh, isn't it beautiful, Mr. Kawara? The sound of your life crumbling apart around you. I'll take it, does, take it it does not suit your tastes. Very well. He was rather fonder than usual himself. A pity. He? Well then, you can handle the outside inv investigation and I, the internal. Oh, good luck, Mr. Kawara. Right. Thanks, Doctor. They really don't like that partridge. He's definitely enjoying himself. What a psycho. What did he mean when he said I was missing something? Or maybe he was just trying to lead me astray. Better not to worry about it for the time being. What were you talking about with Kawara about, Doctor? Nothing important. I was just giving him a little emotional support and encouragement. I see. That's good, then. I'm sure you'll remember not to cause any trouble for my students, Doctor. <clears throat> we step outside once more. The gray dome remains, blocking out the morning sky. Hmm. Let's go check and get a closer look at it. We can't see much from over here. Indeed. Hmm. Iron, maybe? It's quite firm, at any rate. Maybe to some sort of shelter. Hmm. My phone's out of range. Maybe this wall is blocking the signal? That seems likely. Thunk. It sounds thick and dense. Trying to break a hole in it will not be practical. Maybe there's an emergency exit or something? We should check. We still don't know whether or not we are completely sealed in, after all. Right, let's walk around the perimeter. <sighs> it doesn't look like there are any doors or anything. Indeed. It appears to be identical all the way around. Do you suppose it is ventilated? I can't say I fancy the prospect of suffocating under this thing without even knowing why it's here. I'd think an emergency shelter would have some sort of airflow built in, yeah. If not, then we're in deep trouble. Hmm. What are you looking at? Up there. Is that some sort of, some sort of hatchway? He points upwards. Ah! It is, with the St. Pignatian symbol above it. He's right. About 20 meters up, there's a joint or something of a different color. That does look like it might lead outside. Let's go look. And my voice is slowly getting higher and higher with Ryota. I don't see any sort of latch. Can we open it by hand? Hmm, yeah. Maybe there's a switch or something somewhere. It does not seem like we can do anything here now. Let us remember its location and return later. I don't like to think about it, but... If there really is such a terrible disaster out there that this is the only option, maybe we would better to leave it shut anyways. Indeed. Let us move on. What am I missing? We still don't know what's going outside. Going on outside. I've got enough on my mind just thinking about Shireland, but I'm worried about my family outside too. I hope my mother's okay. I suppose we finished the first stage of the investigation now. Yeah, we've got a better idea of the situation, I guess. The doctor's working in the lab. The gray dome covers the entire school, but for one small hatch. And we can use the maintenance office as a base. Mr. One did say... Indeed, he suggested we visited the headmaster's office. Indeed, it's... Indeed. Yeah, it's on the first floor. Let's go.
Headmaster, sir! Are you within? We demand entry. Rude even to the headmaster? I wonder if the doctor is the only person in the entire school he, who he actually respects. No reply. Let's go in. Wait, Sakia, that's... Hmm. It's locked? <sighs> Where is that old geezer? Maybe he's pretending to be out so we'll go away? Indeed. He never was the type to walk about the campus. Or perhaps he was locked he has locked the door from the inside and plans to stay inside until the siege lets up. Should we wait around? We have no time for such frivolities. We shall enter this room if it means reducing the door to a miserable pile of splinters. It's the headmaster's door. I don't think it will be easy to break down. Hm. You speak the truth. Let us ask Nanaki if there isn't a key to open it from the outside. Yeah, we can head back to the... What? Huh? What is it, Kawara? I think... I thought I heard something. I hear nothing. Perhaps you were imagining things. Like something being dragged across the floor. Listen, there it is again, behind... Ugh. What's going on? Um. What? That's creepy. <sighs> Suddenly, behind us stood. A gigantic scarecrow-like creature with a rough burlap sack for a head. Second class. Th what in the... The scarecrow man draws closer, dragging his long, ungainly metallic arm behind it. Sakuya, watch out! Swipe. Its arm slices through the air, smashing the window into tiny shards, which scatter across the hallway floor. We don't know what it is, but apparently it isn't friendly. Sakuya, we have to run. I am well aware! <sighs> Did we lose it? I think so. Lucky it moved so slowly. What was it? Surely no one could devise a prank as bizarre as that. It looked like a biped. It was humanoid, but I don't think it was a human. I've never heard of a human made of metal and burlap. A murder, the dome, and now this? I know not who is behind these trickeries, but they must have a death wish to mock me so. For now, we have to get back to the lab. We need to warn Mr. Nanaki. Yeah, good plan. Oh, welcome back, Kawara. Shiro Shirogane. Would you like some tea? Is this really the time? We cannot afford to relax now, Professor. Hmm. So I take it something happened. Uh, the headmaster, he must have been hiding from this scarecrow. It smashed the window. Calm yourself, Kawara. You become incoherent. Uh, sorry. We were attacked by a gigantic creature outside the headmaster's office. It was a bizarre thing, like a scarecrow in appearance. A scarecrow? Yeah. Like the ones humans used to make. It attacked us, and we ran back here. It was slow, but its arm was heavy and dangerous. Are the other students still in the gymnasium? Probably not all of them. If there's something dangerous in here, we should probably tell everybody to stay together in the gym. E yeah. The plot thickens indeed. Not only are we trapped under this confounded dome, but now it seems we must contend with this monstrous new guest. I wonder what the Scarecrow Man's connection to all this is. This is really weird. A Scarecrow Man, you say? The doctor! Fascinating. 
I've never cut into one of those. I'd love to get my hands on it. <laughs> Have you finished the autopsy, Doctor? Yes, for now. I was awake here the whole time, don't worry. Thank you, Mr. Danaki. You two may well have a right to know what I found, given your efforts towards the investigation. I shall try to state simply and briefly what I have learned from the lumps of meat which once were Miss Tenbrook. Mm. Control yourself, Kawara. Falling out among ourselves would only do us harm. I know. <laughs> Anyways, we lack the tools for a proper examination, but the cause of death was asphyxiation. There are no signs of any strangulation or smothering, so she was either poisoned or sick. She was dismembered after de death, then, Doctor? It would appear so. There is little evidence of bleeding, so we may assume that she was cut up some time after death. Sherilyn was one of the healthiest people I know. She couldn't have become that sick that quickly. Meaning someone poisoned her. Why? For the sake of the grotesque, or to make her easier to carry, or for some other dis reason disgusting either way. I suppose I should also tell you the estimated time of death. Obviously, I cannot be completely certain, but I believe that Miss Tenbrook died yesterday after school. In the evening, then. Precisely. And she was found this morning. In other words, unless she was seen yesterday afternoon, she may have been here all along. Kawara, her house was near yours, was it not? Did you see her yesterday? After school? Um... Mm, no, I didn't. My mother asked me to run some errands, so I went straight home yesterday. That's right, I went home alone. It's too late to re regret it now, but maybe if I'd just asked her to walk home with me... I see. Perhaps we should ask any other students with whom she was close. You're going out again? And be careful. It sounds like wandering around the school could be dangerous. Don't worry. We can outrun the, run the Scarecrow if it shows up again. Incidentally, I went home early yesterday, too. I left as soon as class ended. So I only know what Ryota has told me. I wish I had some useful information, but... I was in the infirmary right up until I returned home, as usual. I know nothing of what happened in the rest of the school, sadly. So neither Mr. Nanaki nor Dr. Iwamine saw Charlene yesterday afternoon. Oh, right! Could we ask a favor of you, Mr. Nanaki? A favor? The headmaster's office is locked. We think he might be hiding in there. If there's a spare key to his door, could we use it? A spare key? Hmm. Yes, there should be one in the faculty room. I'll ask the vice principal for you. Thank you, sir. We'll be back soon. Be careful out there. You too, sir. Kawara is a strange boy. I wonder why he lied about going straight home. Hmm. That is a good question. We won't be able to talk to the headmaster until we have that key. Let us work on the murder case until then. Right. We should ask everybody where they were yesterday. The doctor said he was in the infirmary until he went home. I wonder if we can trust him. To do not to buy yourself with baseless suspicions, Kawara. Yeah, I know. I think maybe you trust him a little too easily, Sakuya. He's a world, world authority, but that doesn't make him honest. You know nothing of what that means. The head of the LaBelle family, my father, was once crippled with chronic illness. He was cured by medicines developed by Dr. Iwamine. He makes medicine? Save the sleep talk for your dreams. Oh, you Have you no idea what contributions he has made to the medical world? I, I didn't know. I thought he was some kind of mad scientist, cooking up nothing but death and all-around woe. You have become biased by the foolish rumors of the peasantry. Reconsider yourself. In any case, the LaBelle family is indebted to him. A noble bird will never treat a benefactor with disrespect. So that's why he's so polite to the doctor. Doesn't that make him biased as well, though? Anyway, let's go. Very well. Go to... 
Let's head to the maintenance office for right now. Mr. One? You two again. Come in. How goes the investigation? Well, I hope? We went to the headmaster's office, as you requested. It was locked, however. Yeah, we got attacked by this weird thing outside there. I'm glad you're okay. The office isn't that far from... Was that thing a muddy scarecrow-like man, perhaps? Yuya! So, you've seen him too. Just now, yeah, on the second floor. Caught a glimpse of it from behind the, at the other end of the corridor and didn't stick around to let it see me. So alas, I was not blessed with a look at its pretty face. Coward. Hey, we ran away as soon as we saw it too. Anyway, it sounds like it's wandering around the building. Maybe it would be better for you to leave, Mr. One. Don't worry for me, young one. My duties prevent me from leaving this room. You two are pl aren't planning to call off your investigation because of a bad guy or two either. Well, yeah, that's true. <laughs> Already stuck in the rut of unadaptable middle age? Don't come crying to us if you get hurt. I've come within touching distance of death in the past. I will be fine. Okay. I wonder what kind of death comes that close to a maintenance worker. Then again, knowing the school, there could be all kinds of evils going on behind the scenes. Well then, what are you standing around for? I believe orders were given for everyone to gather in the gymnasium to avoid the scarecrow. Same goes for you. Why aren't you headed over there? I can't just sit around. Indeed. Same here. Hence walking around the school. On that note, I'd better go to the lab. Professor Nanaki wanted me there. What for? Something you asked him to do. Oh. Uh, he wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Iwumine. Er, ah, uh, he wants you to help him keep an eye on Dr. Iwumine. Most likely, yes. The doctor in Shireland, that is. Anyway, you two go on with your investigation. I'll be watching over her, so don't worry. Right. Wait. Yeah? According to the autopsy, Tenbrook died after school yesterday. Did you see her during that time? Yesterday evening, huh? What did the doctor say? Just that he'd been in the infirmary all day. I was there too. We were, you, we were inspecting and cleaning all day so I can verify the doctor's alibi. I told you not to doubt him without evidence, Kawara. Ah, right. At this point, the prime suspect is that scarecrow anyway. That's everything. Well, let's do. We should head out too. But first, let's write down what we found. All right, let's go. All right. Unfortunately, guys, that's all the time I've got for right now. This is definitely getting interesting, but I'm out of time, like I said. So thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.